So I woke up this morning to some awesome Halo news, guys. We had the Season 2 trailer release, which we're going to do a detailed break-in because there's a lot of little Easter eggs I definitely want to talk about with you guys here. An in-game screenshot of the new map Catalyst coming with Season 2, so we're going to show you guys that. And also, possibly a leaked image of the remake of Avalanche. Let's not waste any more time and get right into those details. So first let's break down this trailer guys so the first thing we see is some story elements of what's going to be happening with season two as we do know from the march update blog that we have about season two we're going to be learning more story elements tied to the multiplayer i hope this is more than just like a singular cutscene. it seemed to be like that as you see we have a shot of a greener here and then we have some spartans coming in coming in on a banished phantom which is kind of cool and right here is actually gets cut super fast but you can see these are the two spartans that we have previously seen when it comes to the promotional material as i'm sure you've seen these guys a million times within people's thumbnails when talking about season two these spartans are well sigrid eklund and on the left and on the right is uh Hayu din if i pronounce that name correctly i'm sorry if i mispronounce it but that's their names and so we'll be learning more about them and spend more time with Spartan Commander Agrina as you dive into Season 2's story. It makes of cinematics, story-themed events, battle pass items, and more to embody the Lone Wolves theme. So these are the people we're going to be looking into a bit more. And here's our first glimpse of the map Breaker that's me coming in with Season 2 as well. I love the visuals of this map, guys. Like, I love just like that sepia kind of tone that they have with this map. It looks so cool. Let's take a deeper look into these images right here. So first you have so you get to see the chopper in action also with a character with some new armor set which will get a nice little close-up of right here but i just love the aesthetic of this map dude it looks so good now 343 did state that breaker will be a map that has a little bit of a smaller map much more infantry focused as well with de dedicated routes when it comes to utilizing vehicles well this might not be like a great map for like tanks or warthogs maybe maybe warthogs but uh you can see that some vehicles and there is some open area a little bit to where you make some plays so good to see that part of the map for sure here's a new set of the armor that we're gonna be looking at as well honestly kind of looking a little like guardian-ish from destiny 2 in my opinion but overall still looking pretty awesome on top of that nothing new with the battle rifle which i was kind of surprised they didn't show anything with that uh here's a really cool shot here so here's a new armor set that we're gonna be getting in check out that shoulder pad right there check out that shoulder pad <laughs> that's what it's a elite skull you can have on your shoulder i mean like that's freaking awesome, dude. That's so freaking cool. It seems like a lot of these Spartans have a mix of different armor sets we've seen with like the non-Spartan armor, like we had seen with like ODSTs, what we've seen with like Marines and stuff like that, but like have patch worked on with our Spartan armor in a way. Looks really cool and I really like that visual of it. Uh, this looks like on Breaker, we do have a camo in the very back right here, as well as it looks like possibly a grapple shot right next to each other, which is kind of interesting for sure. And again, I just love the visual aesthetics of this map. It looks so good. I'm so excited. This is a breath of fresh air when comes to visuals in Halo Infinite because well a lot of the maps uh, definitely do kind of feel the same this one have a totally different feel to it so I'm very excited about Breaker coming in for us guys to play around with next right here in this clip we get to see the laser that was mentioned that goes across the middle of the map that can kill you in action right there which looks really awesome here we get our first look at the new mode last spartan standing this basically also just confirms that this will be a btb style game mode which a btb definitely needs some more game modes for sure uh this is really cool again you get some more shots of breaker again this map just looks so cool i sound like a broken record but literally it looks really freaking awesome we get some views when it comes to some new coatings uh nothing in the way of weapons or anything like that i see so far uh, but again we have the ring effect coming in this will be like a 24 player uh different kind of like battle royale light almost in a way kind of like how attrition was but like this time for battle royale we have a new death effect showcasing right there which we'll have another shot of it really close right after this player fills the spartan up right here again looks just pretty awesome just like i'm very excited for season two right? actually this death effect might actually just be the dying effect that happens when it comes to your spartan dying within the game as you can see that looks more like lumu in a way that with the like, ai but that's very interesting to see like possibly you might be able to have a chance to be revived maybe there might be like a team version of this or something um but maybe just use the same kind of animation but just had like no revivability or something like that tied to it again very cool next we have some images of the new map catalyst which is going to be coming in for season two a nice close-up image of this new armor set here of the spartan i mean look at that 
It just looks awesome. I love this armor set, dude. I cannot wait to get some awesome looking customization. I love how like ragtag put together everything kind of looks. Almost like steam in a way, right? Where it's like you're making the best with the kind of technology that you have at the moment, which looks great. This next part here showcases a new armor set coming in with a new coating as well, which looks great. I know I've seen this helmet before. I just can't remember the name of it, but it looks like we have a classic helmet coming back into Halo Infinite, which looks great. I definitely like this kind of style for sure. Here's a really good shot of the map Catalyst coming in with season two as well. This will be a competitive map as well. You'll be able to play this in ranked mode, which we did share the uh, images that were showcased within the March update blog, and that image uh, definitely didn't look nearly as awesome as this looks. Now, take a close look at this helmet though, guys. I wanna showcase this helmet because it looks freaking awesome. Look at that look familiar because that is the return of the war master helmet i know green skull will be very happy about this and again you get to see some more armor coatings and more different types of armor sets like that shoulder pad looks pretty freaking cool right there that's a big beefy boy and here we have a nice shot of just like the art when it comes to season two and so you get to again see some more of the armor sets that are going to be coming in this definitely looks awesome but take a look at this guy on the left right here like this guy right here i mean he straight up just looks like like wearing like that shoulder pad right there. So that definitely not gonna be tied to any kind of set, it looks like. I mean, his eyes are green. Looks like it's like a skeleton kind of helmet. I mean, like he's basically looking like Hive member from Destiny, but like in this game and it looks so cool. Here's a screenshot that I was telling you about of the map Catalyst in-game screenshot. This definitely lines up to what we saw within the trailer as well. And uh, this is very different than what we saw back in March when it comes to the initial reveal. Where the map was utilizing a lot of blues, cold tones, and it looked a lot cleaner, at, honestly, as well. I mean, uh, there is some dirt and some ivy kind of growing around, but for the most part, it was like visually pretty clean. When we go to the new version of it, it's much more overgrown, a lot more grass, a lot more warmer color tones being utilized as well, which I'm like, that is great. I love to see that as well. It also kind of matches the theme and tone, I think what they're trying to accomplish with season two with Lone Wolves. Interesting thing about this screenshot as well, you can see on the top is an energy sword where in the trailer, we saw him grab a gravity hammer. So that looks like we'll be switching out just kind of like how we have like with recharge, but this time on this map, again, like I said, this will be a competitive map. You will be playing within ranked as well. Uh, we do see a uh, repulsor right there with an infinite edge. So you get to repulse all your good buddies off the map, which is like, it's that's always fun, man. You can never not be fun. And also I told you guys, Avalanche looks to be coming back, which this is the leaked image that recently just went live on Twitter from Halo Hub, which have been producing rather credible leaks. And this looks to be kind of like Avalanche, but not really in a way. Now we do know 343 did state that they're not planning to do any kind of remakes in Halo Infinite, which I'm actually all for. I'd rather just have brand new experiences with Halo Infinite, but they never mentioned anything about spiritual successors, which this map is looking to be something like that. As you kind of see like the overarching kind of U-shape that we had within Avalanche and also within Sidewinder, which Avalanche is a spiritual successor to Sidewinder, which I'm glad they're doing like the spiritual successor route rather than just like a flat out remake because not every Halo games maps match really well into a new Halo game. Like Halo 5 maps would not work well in classic Halo and vice versa. I'm sure if you want a classic Halo map remakes, you could probably just go into Forge and create them once Forge goes live within season three. So if you guys are new to the channel, missing any content for me recently, check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.